All right, guys, in the previous session, we learned about the if statement, you know, how you can do some sort of conditional logic, for example, like this, right? You got an if statement, you check in if something is equal to true, then render them, and then if it's else, then, you know, render something else. So we did even two example like this in the previous session. Check them out if you missed them out. But any long, anyhow, long story short is today, we're going to be focusing about the reverse sections of this. So this if statement is checking for something for it to equal to true and something happened. Well, we're going to do a different conditional logic to check if something is equal to false, then do something here. So instead of using the if helper itself, we're going to use some another different helper called unless. All right. So to illustrate this point, guys, I'm going to go ahead and create a whole different template. I'm going to call this one dashboard that uh, handlebars itself. And here uh, I'm going to go ahead and set the route for this one and set the route and I'm going to serve this one over the dashboard route. Uh, and here I kind of set the rec and rest and then I'm going to render this template like this dashboard. And I'm going to be sending the data here. Cool. Now, the data I'm going to be sending here, it's going to be something false. For example, I can, you know, what else should we show or should we show this? Is, is list enabled? We're going to set this one false. Now, what we're going to, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to check, all right, if the list is false, then we're going to do something. Cool. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a helper. Once again, to use helper, we do slash and the name of the helper. Uh, oh, actually, it's pound. All right. So pound the name of the helper, which is on list. And this one, we're going to use slash to close it. That's how helper works with Hannibal. And the value to check with. So we're going to check the is list enable, which means we saying if this is equal to false, then do something and what we're gonna do if it's equal to false we're gonna have like something like this uh, about donate whatever it is uh, cool all right so once again guys this is the reverse of if statement this is only checking for if something is equal to false then this is going to happen in our case if this is equal to false which it is then whatever is inside of it is going to execute. Okay. Now let's kind of run this program and see what we're talking about. All right. And let's see, I'm going to go back to dashboard this time. And there we go. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is now equal to false. Then whatever is inside our dashboard is going to execute. But if it is equal to true, then it won't execute because this helper is only checking for if something is false. This is how it works. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, all about unless helper. Now, in case you want to explore more, then we're going to uh, explore something, another helper called with, which is going to be really fun to work with.